Hey everyone, my name is Radu Alexe. I am a soccer developer here at Lightning Sharks and today I'll be going over our new product line called the Lightning Chart Trader and specifically we'll be going into more detail about the standard error bands indicator uh, but if we navigate to uh, the lightningchart.com website and we go to products and JS trading charts you'll find information about this product including documentation, uh, different features that are available, uh, all that sort of thing. And in the end, I'll show you how to sign up for a demo. And yeah, that's basically a brief introduction and let's get onto the theory of standard error bands. Before we get into how we use the standard error bands and lighting chart trader, let's go over some quick theory. So first of all, who invented it? Well, it was invented by John Anderson, mostly as a trend indicator. Uh, it is indeed used as a technical analysis tool today by many investors uh, to aid in their decision-making process. And additionally, it was released in 1996 in a magazine called Stocks and Commodities, uh, along with another popular indicator called the Standard Error Oscillator. So the most important thing to understand are the components of the standard error bands. So there are three main components. The first one is a smooth linear regression line, which we get by if we have a, say, 21 period linear regression line over some stock price, and we apply a three period simple moving average, then we get a smooth linear regression line. And the second component is the upper band. And that's just derived by adding some multiple of uh, the standard error to that smooth reg regression line. And the third component is the lower band, which is the opposite. We subtract some multiple of the standard error from the smooth regression line. So if you're familiar with the concept of confidence intervals from statistics, uh, the, the higher the multiple, the the wider the band, which means that your level of confidence is going to be uh, bigger, right? And in a traditional statistical analysis approach. So the interpretation here is uh, we have kind of four different interpretations. So if we have the price touching or breaching the upper band, uh, this can indicate overbought conditions and we have a strong uptrend of a strong uptrend. Uh, if it is breaching the lower band, then it can be oversold conditions or a strong downtrend. And if the bands narrow, that means that if we keep the multiple constant, the standard error must be decreasing. So essentially the volatility has decreased and we have kind of like the consolidation phase before some breakout or breakdown. And widening bands means increased volatility. So that's kind of the interpretations we can have. Uh, let's quickly talk about some math. I know it's kind of, uh, it's just important to understand the basic mechanics of them. So first of all, what we do is we compute the simple linear regression here with this formula over some number of periods. We apply the simple moving average with this formula here, the one over M sum, uh, and M here is the number of periods we want to, let's say we have a, a three period moving average, here would be one over three for each of the <clears throat> linear regression points. And then we calculate the standard error. And this one essentially just figures out uh, the difference in the actual price minus the uh, predicted price, which we got from here. And finally, we do this by this formula, and here it should be minus or plus, and that's how we get the standard error bands for a single, uh, you can compute it for a single point or the number, the whole period. So that's kind of the theory. Uh, let's get into the ways we can actually use this practically. 
All right, so now <coughs> we've gone to the actual landing chart trader. And first of all, to use a standard error indicator, we need data. So very quickly, I'm going to show you some very basic features, the, 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 the general features of the software. So if I search a stock, I can add a stock to the library, to the, to the chart, and we can change the period to say one year. Now, another thing, a very important thing to remember is that the data, the stock data does not come with Lightning Chart Trader. So if you want to have uh, your own data, you have to bring it in from another source. Um, now having that out of the way, we have different customization options here. We can change things like the title, the currency, many different options here. Uh, at a watermark and the cursor tracking many different options the cursor tracking is just if you watch my cursor it's always sticks to close uh, we have customization for the colors uh, and things like clearing your indicators clearing like your workspace and some things for saving your template and loading templates the four that i didn't talk about is the compare symbols so this one it essentially overlays another symbols data on top of the one that's currently in but if i see if i clear uh i don't even need to if i go to the here and i click on x we get rid of it uh change the the third one is changing the type of chart you know we'll keep on candlestick and then we have the drawing tools and importantly the indicators so there are a ton of indicators available here but if you know a specific one you want to use, using the search feature is the easiest. So now we have the standard error indicator added. To customize it, again, the pencil, again, and now we have different options. The source here refers to what we're using to compute the initial regression line. So uh, if I change these, you can see the middle line and as well as the top and lower bands because they're determined by the middle line changes. And importantly here is the average type. So simple here is the simple moving average. So this is what we're smoothing the linear regression line. And we have different ones. Um, none, you can see very overfitted, doesn't give you much data. So we're gonna use simple and increase the period count. And let's say increase the width of it with the multiplier, increase the actual line width and <clears throat> the color type. And enable the fill if we want very customizable up to your liking what you want to do uh, we can offset it as well visible or not and if you want to remove it we click the X here so it's very customizable um, now another thing I forgot to mention is to zoom in on a certain part of the chart we left click move to the right and now we have here and we can do our analysis so let's increase the width, maybe. not the line width, the actual, this one, yeah. And we can zoom in, let's say we have this. And to go back, again, left click and uh, move to the left and we're back. So that's kind of a basic overview of how we use uh, an indicator here. Of course, there are ways you can zoom in with your mouse as well. Um, like right now I'm using my trackpad to zoom in and zoom out. So there's many options, but this is actually one of the, one of two ways of actually displaying the uh, standard indicators. So I'm going to show you the other way right now. So since the lightning chart trader itself is actually also a software library, we can write the same kind of uh, things in the code. So we can add uh, the, the indicators to the charts to code. So let's use an internal function here to add the data. And let me just set the currency to uh, USD. And well, then we should have data inside, good. And this is the kind of syntax. What you want is, let's say a constant uh, trading chart indicators. This lists all the indicators. 
and we're going to call add standard error bands. And as you can see with this, uh, it adds the error bands. And if we go into, again, these kind of, um, these uh, customization options, all of these are available in the library itself. So within this function. So if I do set dot, uh, let's set the period count to 21 and set the multiplier to five. Oh, that's going to give me an error, isn't it? Anyway. And I can see we have this kind of idea. So this is the way we add um, kind of the uh, indicator through the code. And for more information, if we go to the home page, back to the trading chart, and we go to the documentation, here we have uh, different documentation for everything here, including the technical indicators and how to add indicators as well as disposing of indicators, everything. So uh, that's kind of how we use the center error indicators and our uh, lightning chart trader package. So the last thing I want to touch upon is how do we request a demo? Because there are many different uh, applications and many different features. So if we go to the JS trading chart page and each of these features, we have our request and demo button You can fill out the form here with your name, uh, your, your email, uh, as well as your country. And uh, we can select the package that you want. So if you just want technical analysis charts or let's go maximum to a public website with two developers and no widely leaving permissions, click submit. This will send to our team in the back and we'll contact you with next steps. So briefly, I showed you one aspect of the lightning chart trader. Um, it just the technical analysis charts and it's very limited because I showed you one indicator, but there are many, many indicators as you can see in this preview GIF. And, but we also have two D, three D and real time charts, which essentially uh, since financial data is not exactly just isolated to the chart itself, uh, we can do histograms and, and bar charts and other sort of things. We have that, uh, available, uh, we have data grid control. So if you wanted to say, uh, see here, the prices, when it goes down red, that sort of thing is available and geographical maps. But very importantly is that we have world leading performance since it's powered by lightning chart JS. And essentially what this means is that this package is comes with a high number of features without uh, compromising performance. So this is still going to be the most performant chart, uh, uh, trading chart library due to we have, we're using the fastest JS uh, visualization uh, library. So that's kind of an overview. Uh, again, you can find this information, uh, more information at lightningchart.com slash js-chart slash trader. Uh, again, I've been Prado Alexa and have a wonderful day.